Hello, friends and amazing people in YouTube. First of all, sorry about my thick accent. Welcome to my garden, and today let's talk about pollinating, deheading, dividing, organizing, and propagating your lilies. Okie dokie dokie dok. Now let's talk about pollinating first. Insects and hummingbirds usually pollinate lilies, but don't you know that you can do it with your hands? Here's what I'm doing. As you can see in the video, I just take some pollen and pollinate the stigma by brushing it or rubbing it. Well, this trick helps the lily to produce more bulblets and, of course, more bulbs, more lilies. And you can experiment too, if you want, by cross-pollinating them. Yes, <laughs> rubbing uh, pollen from different color of your lily, rub it to another lily. You can do that if you want. Yes, rubbing a different color, that's what I mean. Who knows, you're going to create a wonderful color. I mean, the result will be really, really good. All right, number two. Now, let's do the deadheading. Well, as you can see, deadheading is... Uh, Cutting the flower spike at the base, just above the stem leaves. Now, let me give you a brief explanation about that. You know, when you cut that spike, or you may call it a fruit. Yeah, sometimes I call it a fruit but because it looks fruit to me. <laughs> um, it helps the bulbs grow bigger, you know. Instead of growing that spike bigger, you take them off and it allows your bulb to grow bigger. Yeah, for me. Bigger bulbs, bigger lilies. So, always remember, pollinating multiplies your bulbs, while deadheading helps your bulbs grow bigger. Now, let's talk about dividing your lilies. Well, dividing lilies is just simply relocating your bulblets and your bulbs. And you can do this in the fall. That's why I cannot show you a video right now because I'm going to do it in the fall. And I'm going to do a part two of this video. I hope you're going to watch it again. For the meantime, I'm going to give you a brief explanation about uh, simply relocating your bulblets or your bulbs. You know, you need to relocate your bulbs and your bubbles because they're getting super duper thick or crowded. You need to relocate them. You need to spread them. That's what I mean. You're going to see that there are tiny bulblets attached into your mother bulb. You need to separate them. And if I am not mistaken, they call this propagating. Yes. And lastly, let's talk about organizing. As you can see in this video, some lilies are way taller than the other and some are way too shorter than the other. I am organizing my lilies according to their height. See, for example, this red lily, they are hiding at the back of this big lilies here or the taller lilies, so they cannot be seen. So I found reason to move them or to transfer them or to relocate them somewhere. They can be easily seen. These pink lilies as well, they don't grow as tall as these orange lilies here. So wisdom dictates, I need to relocate them too. And let me remind you that bulblets, they won't grow taller as well. As you can see in this video, this lily here is from a bulblet and it didn't grow as taller as the other lilies. And as you can see, it has only two flowers. Sometimes they're going to give you one flower only. Yeah, if they are bulblet. Unlike the mother bulbs, they are going to give you multiple flowers. All right, all right, all right, my dearest, fantastic, and amazing people in YouTube. Yes, there's a whole lot more to see here in my channel. Just, just uh, allow me to present, present more 
videos to you a whole lot more because I, I planted a lot of flowers this summer and I am so, 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 so excited to show them all to you. Yes, in my next video, I am so excited to show you my looking and my snapdragons and I planted all kinds of sunflowers as well. Yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. You have a great day and God bless you guys. Babushka, babushka, babushka.